Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to KNCO's On the Town. We are at Sierra Nevada Memorial Hospital, and my guest today is Dr. Jeffrey Rosenberg, Chief Medical Officer. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you, John. Thank you for inviting me today. I started an undergraduate at uh, UC Berkeley, and I was what you would call heavily undeclared. My father was a physician, but at the time I didn't know that I wanted to follow into his footsteps. I uh, transferred from Berkeley down to Los Angeles to be closer to my father and uh, finished up at University of Southern California for my Bachelor in Science in Biology. I started out at Harbor UCLA Medical Center in uh, uh, Carson, California, and I did two years there of general surgery. I got a job at, or uh, an offer, a placement at um, Kaiser Hospital Oakland. So by the time I went to Syracuse, New York, at State University of New York Upstate to do a two-year program there in cardiopulmonary surgery. I felt like I was kind of ahead of the game, and so I completed there in 1992. But uh, I was attracted to dignity because of their values. Uh, I'm a, a convert to that, Catholicism. That, that reputation? Yes. In Southern California? Yes. Wow. Yes. So we have an active palliative care program here. It's not hospice care. Right. It's mostly helping people who have chronic conditions that sometimes are very uh, debilitating or require a lot of attention to give them the resources that they need to be able to manage those illnesses outside of the hospital. Right. But it's people, uh, they might be on home oxygen or whatever, if they get a, a small minor respiratory infection, they end up back in the hospital for that. And so they may be managed uh, appropriately for it and then sent out, we try to get home health services or, or other uh, uh, programs to specifically help people with that so that they don't have to keep coming back but oftentimes because of the nature of the disease those people do end up back in the hospital uh, repetitively. We have one uh, president from currently Mercy San Juan who's on the board okay. so he's a dignity okay. health person but the chairman of the board is a community member and all the other uh, board members are community members. It's the only executive who's a voting member is the president who has been Kathy Medeiros, but mm -hmm. uh, as of December 2nd is now Brian Evans. Well, it is a small town, and I've, I've never really lived in a small never, town before, yeah. but people are very friendly. I mean, they'll talk to you and have conversations with you and, and are interested in you, so I, I really like that aspect. And I noticed that about the people in the hospital, uh, and that was one of the things that attracted me to coming here. Let's talk about the ambulance service, because it's independently owned? Yes, it is by Sierra Nevada Memorial Hospital, and that's a great resource for the community, and uh, it just makes for more prompt uh, uh, ability to bring patients to the hospital and also to transfer them and take them to other places when they need to go. If you had something that was really beyond what we felt that we could take care of here, we would refer you out, and that's one of the benefits of being part of Dignity Health is we have those resources. And before there used to be a lot of delays, but uh, recently we've instituted having our ambulance service take our patients down there and that's really expedited it to, to really aid in getting uh, our inpatients the imaging that they need. And from where you sit, quality of patient care, top notch? Very good. We have just been upgraded to uh, LeapFrog B category a is the best, okay. but B is, is outstanding, but we're working towards an A. We want to be the best in everything.